Hello and welcome again to Chem in 3. In today's lesson, we focus on uncertainty and error propagation in chemistry, but we also take the opportunity to look at acid-based titrations and stoichiometry. Let's move in and take a closer look. A chemistry student wanted to verify the concentration of hydrochloric acid in this bottle, knowing that the actual concentration was somewhere between 0.1 moles per dm cube and 0.2 moles per dm cube. But to verify the actual concentration, the student conducted a titration, collecting sodium hydroxide flakes, phenolphthalein indicator, a burette, an analytical balance, a 250 milliliter volumetric flask, a pipette and an Erlenmeyer flask or a conical flask. The student had a 250 milliliter volumetric flask with an uncertainty of 0.5 milliliters. The student also had an analytical balance that had an uncertainty of 0.001 grams. This is stated here by the manufacturer and generally it's the same as the last digit measured on the device, which is the one thousandths place. The volumetric flask had this uncertainty. The student first determined the number of moles required to make a 0.1 moles per dm cube solution in the 250 milliliter volumetric flask, which really has a volume of 0.250 dm cube. And this equation was used. The calculation showed that 0.250 moles of sodium hydroxide was required to make a 0.1 mole per dm cube solution. The student then used this information. The relative formula mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams per mole. So the mass of 0.25 moles, which is what is required, would be one gram. Another important equation is used. The student then turned on the analytical balance, placed a weighing boat on the balance pan, then the student hit the tear button and then loaded 1.00 grams of sodium hydroxide. This mass has an uncertainty of 0.001 grams. The percentage of error associated with this mass is 0.001 grams divided by 1.000 grams. And this comes to 0.100%. Next, the student place the one gram of sodium hydroxide into this volumetric flask and slowly and with mixing made the volume up to exactly 250. This volumetric flask is indeed a very accurate device but it's important to ensure that the meniscus touches the line exactly and when you do that the device gives you a level of accuracy to 0.5 of a milliliter. So based on this uncertainty of 0.5 the percentage of error associated here with this measurement is 0.2%. The student then transferred this standard solution, 0.1 moles per dm cube sodium hydroxide, into a burette. Then a pipette was used to remove exactly 10 milliliters of the hydrochloric acid of unknown concentration. And this was placed into this Erlenmeyer flask and one drop of phenolphthalein indicator was added. And then sodium hydroxide was titrated against hydrochloric acid. But the pipette also comes with its uncertainty. A 10 ml pipette, like a burette and a volumetric flask, is a very accurate tool. But its uncertainty is 0.05 milliliters. So given that we used a 10 milliliter volume for the HCL, or 10 milliliter aliquot, the associated uncertainty and percentage error here is 0.5%. And now let's focus on the uncertainty of the burette. And here you can see that we must take an initial reading and at the end point of the titration, again, we note the reading. So two readings must be taken to get what's called the titer value to be used in this calculation. And each time a reading is taken on a burette, it is subject again to uncertainty. The smallest increment on this burette is 0.1 of a milliliter and the uncertainty associated with the burette is derived by taking half of the smallest increment on the device. So that comes to 0.05 of a milliliter. So this is what our data table would look like for the burette readings. An initial value of 10 milliliters plus or minus 0.05 for the error associated with measurement. A final value of 22.70. Again, this reading is also associated with this uncertainty. So when you take the difference 
To get the tighter value of the volume used, you must also take the sum of the two uncertainties, which comes to 0.1 of a milliliter. So the final titration value is 12.70 milliliters plus or minus 0.1 of a milliliter. And the percentage of uncertainty or error associated with this measurement is 0.79%. And if we know the number of moles of sodium hydroxide required to neutralize the hydrochloric acid, then we can assume that the 10 milliliter aliquot of hydrochloric acid contains that number of moles because we have the ratio of one to one. So we calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide required to neutralize the HCl, and the answer to that would be equal to the number of moles present in 10 milliliters. So using the equation number of moles is equal to concentration multiplied by volume, concentration of the standard solution of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.10 moles per dm3, and the volume used based on the titration's final answer is 0 0.1270 dm3, which is based on the conversion of 12.70 cm3 or ml in to dm3. The final answer comes to 0 0.001270 moles, the number of moles present in 10 milliliters. And then we can use this information and this relationship to show that the concentration of the unknown hydrochloric acid is 0 0.1270 moles per dm3. But as we write up the report on this titration, we should note the uncertainty or the percentage of error associated with this calculation. And this is based on all of the uncertainties from all of the steps in the investigation. Taking the sum of all of these, it comes to 1.59. So the percentage of uncertainty is plus or minus 1.59%.